Well, I can't say much for the delivery, but that's a mighty tasty pecan crumb cake, which leads me into our next lesson in equivalent fractions. You remember, equivalent fractions have the same value even though they don't look like each other. Let's look at the pecan crumb cake recipe. Since it's a secret family recipe, I'm only going to share a few ingredients that involve fractions. We have one half cup packed brown sugar, one fourth cup all-purpose flour, two thirds cup warm water, one third cup butter, three quarter cup granulated sugar. It's amazing how many fractions are involved with recipes. Let's create an equivalent fraction for one of these ingredients. If you recall, I can multiply one half by one and not change the value of the one half. Remember, any number other than zero when divided by itself is equal to one. For example, two over two is equal to one. Sound familiar? So if I multiply one half cup packed brown sugar by two over two, my numerator 1 is multiplied by 2, and my denominator 2 is also multiplied by 2. This makes my new numerator a 2, and my new denominator is a 4. My resulting equivalent fraction is 2 fourths cup packed brown sugar. If you think about it, 1 half cup of brown sugar has the same amount of brown sugar as 2 fourths cup. Also, 3 over 3 equals 1. So I can multiply 1 half by 3 over 3, and my new numerator is 3, and my new denominator is 6. My second resulting equivalent fraction is 3 sixths cup of brown sugar. Finally, if I multiply 1 half by 4 over 4, I'll end up with 4 eighths cup of packed brown sugar. So 1 half equals 2 fourths equals 3 sixths equals 4 eighths. You should have the hang of it by now. Now, you can do this exercise with just about any recipe that uses fractions. Remember, you're welcome to come back any time and... Uh-oh! I hate it when that happens.